Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. If you've been watching my videos of late, you'll know that I've had a long break from playing while I was ill over the Christmas and New Year period. <laughs> I'm not asking for sympathy, don't worry. Um, I didn't get much playing in at all for a long period of time and um, as a consequence, my technique has kind of taken a nosedive, especially the picking technique. So. Over the past few days, I've been working really, really hard to try and get my picking technique back up to scratch. And uh, over the past few days, I have been experimenting with a idea, a specific idea. One thing I've been aware of with my playing is that I've always approached holding the pick in the same way. And um, any time I pick, I make sure, or have made sure that um, uh, the joints stay roughly in one position, especially this joint here. I can't remember what the technical name for this joint is. I'll stick it on the screen somewhere. Um, but it's this tip joint here. And what I've been experimenting with is allowing just a little bit of give with the pick. Like that. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and when I transition from string to string, I just allow a little bit of give with that joint of the index finger. And for some reason, it really, really works well for me. It allows me to transition very, very smoothly uh, in comparison with holding the pick in one position like this, which I've done since, you know, right from the word go, really. Um, I'm not gonna change this. This is a specific technique that I use that's been very, very effective. I'm just experimenting with different ideas just to see how I can sort of add to my arsenal of techniques, you know. So uh, I think it's important to be able to do that, to be open to, to trying new things with your technique because it could open up a whole load of doors for you and uh, improve your technique even more. And that's what I'm looking to do, is to get you know, more control over what I play. Uh, because the moment that we sit back and go, hey, everything's cool, then you stop learning. So you know, it's an ongoing process. It's something that I'll be doing um, until I'm no longer here, I would think. Uh, and I love doing it anyway, so I'm just going to show you exactly what I've been doing over the past few days. Uh, so, let's just take a straight ahead scale. Let's take C Lydian, for instance. Okay, and I need to be nice and relaxed when I play anyway. I want to be able to be in control of what I play. Um, however, what I've been doing is um, loosening that joint and allowing when I transition uh, from one string to the next, like I said before, just allowing a bit of give with that joint and the thumb. It's less so, what I've realised over the past few days, it's less so when I'm ascending, but more so when I'm descending. So if you notice, there's a little bit of movement here. Anyway, I'm messing around here. Um, so, it's very much a feel thing as well. I'm kind of feeling my way through it. Uh, I mean, that sounds a little bit cliche and cheesy, but it's absolutely true. And that's one thing that I've been doing in all the years that I've been playing, is kind of, you know, feeling my way through specific things. You know, it's important to, to experience, the, you know, how it feels when you, when you do something. And this is kind of, it's like, almost like a mental cue for me to relax even more uh, when I'm practicing my scales with this technique. really really has been working for me pretty well like I said before this is an addition to my technique so what I'm doing is just throwing this out there just you know uh, to give you some ideas to experiment with it yourself and see where it can take you there's no guarantees that it's going to be beneficial to you but there's no reason why you can't explore the idea and you know see where it takes you uh, if it's beneficial to you then it's then it's worth doing 
You know, a, a lot of people, what I find, a lot of guitar players are kind of scared of changing things, especially if they've been playing for a number of years. But I think that can be quite detrimental. You know, it's not allowing you to, to try new areas of playing that really you could benefit from. Uh, so anyway, this is what I've been doing. It almost feels like the pick is going to fall out of my fingers. It's not, of course. But it feels great. So um, I just thought I'd share that little idea with you. Like I say, it's it's uh, just allowing that um, the tip of the index finger to um, just allowing a little bit of give with that joint rather than keeping it rigid. Um, so. I just thought I'd throw that idea out. I'm going to practice it some more um, uh, because I really, really like the way it's taking my picking um, and it's really helping me to, to really zone in on being completely relaxed when I play. And hey, that's got to be a good thing. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Give it a try. See where it takes you. Uh, and remember, this is not a replacement for your current technique. This is uh, to augment your current technique, to add to it. Uh, and if it doesn't work for you, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Okay, thanks for checking in to this lesson, and I will catch up with you guys in the next one. Cheers.